Namaste everybody, my name's Leo, welcome to the Farm Club and welcome to this morning wake up vinyasa flow. So just close your eyes down, let your spine be long, your shoulders be soft and just briefly check in with yourself here, check in with the physical body that you move and articulate, how does it feel this morning? Check in with your energetic layer, the energetic sensations on the skin and within. Drop into your intellectual layer. Notice the thoughts and narratives moving through like passing clouds. And finally, witness your emotional landscape and how it feels in this moment this morning. With eyes closed and spine long as you observe, know that your physical body is what you move and articulate. Your energetic layer is what you sense. Your emotional layer is what you feel and your intellectual layer is what you hear, but these are all just layers. You are the observer and witness. From this seat of observation, ask yourself, for this practice, what am I here to absorb and receive? What am I here to shed, relinquish and release? Bring the hands to the center of the chest, thumbs into the sternum. We relinquish with an exhale and we absorb and receive with an inhale and perhaps you will join me for a soft dom chant. Take a deep and full inhalation. Let go of what you do not need with a focused exhale. Breathe in your intention for this practice for an Om Chan. Om. Breathe in the vibrations of this collective and bow your head to your hands. It is a joy an honor to share this space and practice with you. Okay, we begin by combining two spinal mobilization movements. You have your tabletop position, so spread your fingers, knees directly below the hips, toes are tucked under. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest up. And as you exhale, push into the hands, start to hollow. Now come onto the tops of the feet, hinge the hips back here and sit back. Kneeling cat cow, you're inhaling, lifting up through the hips, opening through heart center. And as you exhale, draw the hands back, hinge the hips back. Reset your position, hands come down, toes tuck under. Inhale, drop the belly open through the chest, feel that expansion. As you exhale, contract and come onto the tops of the feet. And again, you're hinging back. Now you have about two more rounds of this here. So I invite you to visualize your body being the paintbrush and the mat and the space around you being your canvas. What movements do you want to add in? What inflections? It does not have to be linear. You can take your own fluid movements. You can take your own pace. With this practice, you have two more rounds of this, the inhale expanding, the exhale contracting. Keep moving in your way. There's no right or wrong in this practice, just find your flow. One more of these, a deep inhale in an expansion and an exhale in that compression. Beautiful, when you're ready, come back to this kneeling position once again, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, find a downwards facing dog. So you're just palming the heels of the feet down one at a time here, and you can lift limbs, you can lift up arms, you can bend the knees and melt the chest to the earth. You're finding what works for you right now. What is suiting and serving you in this morning practice? What is nourishing you here? Ground the heels into the earth, spread the fingers, find a solid downwards facing dog, your solid foundation. Two clearing breaths here, deep inhale for one. Clearing open mouth, exhale for one. Deep inhale for two, open mouth, exhale for two. Now lift the heels, start to tiptoe the feet in and arrive in a folded position. You're arriving in a forwards fold here. You can grab opposite elbows here, bend the knees and just take a soft little bit of movement through the spine. Just moving, mobilizing, waking up that lower back. Release the hands down to the earth, slowly draw up. Draw the shoulders up to the ears. Draw the shoulders down the back. Stand here in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms of the hands face forward, spine long, shoulders soft. Deep and full inhalation, clearing open mouth exhalation. We'll take a little flow with Surya C, a brief standing sequence. We will ground and we will finish our practice. Toes together, heels apart, hands at the center of the chest. Lift the arms up as you inhale, find a gentle back bend. As you exhale, hinge and fold the body forwards. Plant the fingers down, bring the right foot back, lower the right knee down, release toes. Inhale, lift the chest up, open through heart center. 
As you exhale, tuck the right toes under, hinge back and fold. This is your flow. Every inhalation, once again, back toes untuck, you have your expansion. Every exhale, the right toes tuck under, hinge back and fold. One more of these in your way. Expand on the inhalation, connect the movement to the breath. The right toes tuck under, you hinge back and fold. Easy twist, right hand to the inside of the left foot. Left arm lifts up, we rotate, lifting the torso away from the thighs. Maybe you tuck the right toes under and lift the right knee off. Nice and simple here. Breath in creates length, expansion and space. Exhale, twist through the belly. Okay, little tricky movement, follow me. Left hand to top, left hand corner. Right arm lift, right leg lift, half moon. Deep and full breath in, expand and open. Turn the right toes up towards the sky as you exhale. One more breath in, maybe you're at home, so it's to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the right fingers down. Kick the right heel up five times here. Five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Second side, right foot steps forwards, left foot steps back. Left knee down, release toes, second side. You inhale, open and expand. You exhale, left toes tuck under and you fold. On the inhale, you're opening the left front side of the body through the hip flexors. And as you exhale, you're lengthening the back of the right leg and the whole of the back body. One more of these. There's that length and expansion and space on the breath in, expressing your way. There's that hinge and folding back on the exhale. Your easy twist, left hand to the inside of the right foot, right arm lifts up, draw the right hip back and the left hip forwards, left toes are tucked under. Now push the left heel away, lift the left knee off. As you breathe in, create all of that space. And as you exhale, draw the torso away from the thigh. Half moon pose, right hand to top, right hand corner. Left arm lift, left leg lift. Lift and lengthen out of the right leg here. Tuck the chin, take the gaze up and turn the left toes up towards the ceiling. Breath in, length, space and expansion. As you exhale, frame the right foot, fold the body forwards and kick the left heel up five times. For five, turn the left toes down and in. Four, three, for two, for one. Step the foot forwards, fold the body forwards. Beautiful work. Toe heel the feet out. Let's take a twist together. I'm mirroring you here. Bring your left hand underneath your face. Breathe your right arm up, your opening. Use the breath here. Perhaps the right hand can come behind the back onto the left thigh. The left hand can come to the outside of the right shin. You're creating length and space on the breath in. You're twisting and opening on the exhale. One more of these breath in, length, expansion and space. Imagine you have a towel in your belly and you're just wringing out any stagnant, stale energy with an exhalation. Switch sides, I'm mirroring you. Right hand comes down, breathe the left arm up, twist to the left. Length, space and expansion on the inhale, toes in, heels out. As you exhale, perhaps finding the bind, left hand behind the back, right hand onto the outside of the left shin. Breath in, creates that length and space. Exhale, twist through the belly. Bring the fingers to the earth, toe heel the feet in, and let's take an Utkatasana chair pose. Tailbone tucks under, arms lift up, just a transition, standing at the top of your mat. Let's take a brief little standing sequence with flow and then we'll ground down our practice. Lift the arms up, take a deep and full breath in, expand and open. As you exhale, hinge the body forwards and fold. Find a chair pose here, Utkatasana. Plant the hands down here, walk, step or float back, high plank. You're lowering knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Finding an arch of the spine, inhale, cobra or upwards facing. Stay here and tuck the right toes under. Breathe your left leg up, open through the hips. Sink the right heel to the earth. Take the gaze under the left armpit. Lift this left leg a little higher, inhale. Twist under the body, left knee to the right armpit. Foot steps to the side, gate pose. Right arm lifts up, there's a deep breath in, a deep expansion. Now stay here and circle the right hand behind you once. Inhale, the right arm comes over the ears. Exhale, twisting here. One more breath in as you are. Right hand comes down, right toes tuck under. Breathe your left leg up. Left foot steps forwards. High lunge, inhale, create length, expansion and space. Corridor twist, left hand back, right hand forwards. This is your flow now. Breathe in for your high lunge, left leg straightens. 
back heel drops, warrior two, left hand forward, right hand back, you flow. Right heel lifts as you inhale into your high lunge. As you exhale, twist over your left thigh. Every breath in is that expansion in the center. Every exhale, you're dropping into your posture. Two more rounds, length and space, inhale. Twist as you exhale. One more breath in, length, space and expansion, warrior two. Left hand forwards, right hand back. Hold here and be in your power. Right heel is out, right toes are in. Bend into that left knee, draw left knee to little toe side and gaze over the middle finger of the front hand. We'll take a variation of exalted warrior. Left palm turns up, right hand scoops in front as left arm lifts. Create length, space and expansion in the left side of the body. Breath in here as you are. Sink a little deeper as you exhale. We're prepped for trikonasana. Straighten the front leg, draw the arms out. Left hand forwards, right hand back. Bump the right hip away, breathe the left hand forwards. Imagine you're between a pane of glass here. Breathe once more as you reach. Left hand to the inside of that left foot, right arm lifts up. Tuck the chin, take the gaze up. Tuck the left hip under and open the right hip. Draw the right shoulder down the back. Just one more breath here. Deep inhale creates length, expansion and space. Exhale, twist and open. We twist to the opposite side for a balance pose, revolved half moon. Right hand to top right hand corner of the mat. Left arm lift, right leg lift. Deep inhalation as you are here. Twist the right toes under the body, twist to the left hand side. One more breath in exactly as you are. As you exhale, right foot steps forward, chair twist. Right hand onto right hip, breathe the left arm up. As you exhale, twist right. Tuck the tailbone under, draw the left knee back. Length and space on the inhale, that counter rotation and that twist to the right as we exhale. We're in nature, so there will be all of the sounds, but you focus on your breath. A deep and full inhalation, creating length and space. As you exhale, twist through the belly. One more of these on the inhalation. As you exhale, fold the body forwards. Now we have chair pose, option to come into crow pose or just transition back. Plant the hands down, knees to the triceps or knees to the armpits. Lean forwards, trust your energy, trust your strength. Pick up one leg, maybe picking up both legs, holding here for inhale holding here for exhale, preparing for the inhalation, walking, stepping or floating back, high plank. We lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, second side. Your cobra or upwards facing. Stay here, tuck the left toes under. Let's lift and open through the hips. Breathe the right leg up, free leg dog. Left heel sinks to the earth. Right heel lifts a little higher to prepare. As you exhale, right knee under to the left armpit. Foot steps to the side, gate pose. Left arm lifts, it's a big breath in here. Keep the hips lifted, circle the left hand behind you. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, turn the chest up towards the ceiling or the sky, depending on where you're practicing. Left hand comes down, left toes tuck under. We prepare for that high lunge. It's a big breath in. Flex the right toes, step the right foot forward. Wide enough stance so you have good, strong balance. Lift up for your high lunge, we flow. As you exhale, right hand forwards, left hand back. As you inhale, your high lunge. As you exhale, left heel drops, warrior two. This is your flow, move in your way. Left toes tuck under, we lift that high lunge position. Keep the lower body as it is, as you twist to the right, right hip back, left hip forwards. There's that high lunge position, and there's that warrior two to drop. One more of these. Length and space as you inhale, twisting and opening as you exhale. One more, breath in, length and space, right, forwards, left back, warrior two, hold in this position. Find strength and integrity. Left heel is out, left toes are in, bending into that right knee, lengthening through the arms, drawing shoulders down the back. Now gaze over this right middle finger and find that solid, stable base. Be embodied in your warrior here. Exalted warrior variation, right palm turns up, left hand scoops in front. We open through the side body, keep low in this front knee. Inhale here. Use the breath to exhale and drop a bit deeper. Breathe into the right side of the body, oblique serratus anterior, expanding. 
drop a little deeper as you exhale. Preparing for our wide triangle, lengthen the front leg, bring the right hand forwards and the left hand back, find a solid frame. Bump the left hip back and away, reach the right hand forwards, inhaling. Hold here for a moment, exhale. Reach a little more, bit more as you breathe in and keep this space in the side body as you open up. Right shoulder tucks under, left shoulder opens. Right hip tucks under, left hip opens. Deep and full breath in here. Between that pane of glass as you exhale. One more breath in, preparing for our balance pose, revolved half moon. Lift the left heel, left hand to top, left hand corner. Right arm lifts, left toes tuck under. Deep breath in here, lift out of the standing leg. As you exhale, twist under the body. One more exactly as you are. Look down, step the left foot forwards. Left hand onto left hip, chair twist. We breathe in. As you exhale, twist. Allow that right knee to come back. Now, why all the twists in this morning practice? Keep breathing, keep flowing. So here we are releasing any blockages in Shishuma, your energy channel. We're creating space in the spinal column anatomically, but also creating energetic clearance within the chakras. Inhale exactly as you are. Exhale, hinge and fold forwards. Chair pose, draw the arms up. Standing position, beautiful work. Setting up for our grounding, our twists and our pigeon. Inhale, arms draw up. As you exhale, hinge and fold the body forwards. No halfway lift here. We just plant the hands down, draw the right foot back and bring the left knee to the left wrist and the left foot to the right wrist. So you're squaring hips and shoulders here, left hip back, right hip forwards. If this isn't working for you, sink onto the left hip and draw the right knee, back of the right knee at a 90 degree angle so you're in deer pose. Really simple here, just a few breaths. Lift up, create length and space and lead with the chin and chest as you fold forwards. Now find a place that is not painful, but you are feeling these sensations in the outer hip, okay? You're never forcing, you're never pushing. Your yoga practice is stira sukha asanam, effort with ease within the postures. Now yield, stop trying. Drop into your yin energy. Let gravity, the weight of your body and your breath, drop you deeper to the earth. One more breath in, exactly as you are. One more exhale here, push into the hands, lift up through the body. Now sink into your left hip, I'm going to mirror you here. So you're sunk into the left hip here, your right foot, bring it round over the left leg, sole of the right foot down. Establish a stable foundation by bringing the hands behind the back and just moving from side to side. Now really spread the toes on the right foot and ground it into the earth. We're taking a twist to the right, Matsyandrasana. So bring the right hand behind the back, I'm mirroring you. Left hand can hold around the right shin, or it can hook here. If you have a bind in your practice, take it now. Lengthen space as you breathe in. Remember that towel analogy. As you exhale, you're just clearing shashuma. You are wringing out that towel with every exhale. Without force, without push, black liquid sinks down into the earth. Black smoke rises. Deep and full breath in as you are. Exhale for your twist. Beautiful work, everybody. So you're slowly unwinding the legs. You can bring the hands behind the back if you wish to set up for Navasana briefly, or you can just tuck the tailbone under, lift the legs up. Legs can be at 90 degrees, hands forwards, or you can bring the toes up. Holding for three, breathing for two, switching to second side of pigeon for one. Roll onto your right hip. Left foot comes back. Again, that deer pose is an option, or the left toes can tuck under and you're squaring up the hips, right hip back, left hip forwards. Left knee can stay lifted or you can draw it down to the earth. Create length and space as you inhale and lead with the chin and chest. Now this is where you surrender. This is where you stop trying. We drop into the yin, so really find ease. If this is sharp or painful, you've gone too far. If you are losing the ability to take soft and full breaths, you've gone a little bit too far, so just ease out. Find your place, we're just here for a few more breaths. It might be completely different on this side and if it is, beautiful. Embody the perfect imperfections of your body adapting to your wants and needs. Deep breath in, exhale folding, good. Push into the hands, lift the body up. I'm mirroring you once again, sink into that right hip and your left foot 
can come over the right. Spread the toes on the left foot again. Establish those strong foundations. We're preparing for our twist to the left hand side. Left hand becomes here. We plant it behind the back. We draw the left shoulder blade down. Right hand comes round. We hold we hook, or if a bind is in your practice, take it. Now create length and space. Your root and the crown are in one strong line. And as you exhale, twist through the belly. Two more breaths. Length and space on the inhale. Really push that grounded left foot into the earth as you exhale, twist through the belly. One more breath in, exactly as you are. As you exhale, twist. Beautiful. Release, unwind the legs, bring the hands behind the back and just slowly curve the spine and roll down. So hands behind the back or drawing hands in front of you. Control this lower back, middle back, upper back comes down. Final posture before your brief Shavasana. Hands around the inside of the knees, around the outside of the feet. Draw the lower back to the earth. Breath in, length, space and expansion. Exhale, relax the inner thighs. Just let the knees start to drop towards the armpits. You're not pulling on the feet. Instead, you're relaxing the arms and allowing the weight of the arms, gravity and your breath to take you deeper. Now this pose is beautiful as it is a perfect neutralizer for the spine, for the hips after all of those twists and your beautiful morning flow practice. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, drop into a brief one minute Shavasana. Now, if you want to stay in Shavasana after this video finishes, give yourself five or 10 minutes. Otherwise, soften in, let the toes drop out to the side. Let the palms of the hands face up. Let the back body become heavy. Completely release control of the back body. Allow the front body to be open. Release control of the breath. There is nowhere that you need to be. There is nothing that you need to do. You are safe in this moment. You are satiated from the movement of your practice. Let the nourishment of this movement and breath pour into every single part of your being, every single layer. The physical body you move has been satiated. The energetic layer that you sense has been nourished. The intellectual layer that you hear has been quietened. And the emotional layer that you feel has had allowance to be expressed. You can stay in Shavasana here or waking up, taking a deep breath in, clearing exhalation. Start to move through the fingers, through the toes, start to roll the wrists and the ankles perhaps bringing the knees into the chest, bringing the hands around the shins and squeezing. You can rock and roll up to a seat or you can come onto your side to a fetal position and then gather yourself up slowly into a comfortable seat. Legs crossed in easy pose or kneeling, spine long, shoulders soft, eyes closed, hands at the center of the chest first, giving yourself gratitude for waking up and taking this morning practice or whatever time of the day you've taken this practice. Acknowledging the space you have created and cultivated within yourself that lies within you at all times, this peace and equanimity. And perhaps with your next exhale that I will join you with, letting go of what you do not need, what no longer serves you in its place, setting an intention for the rest of your day, perhaps your week. Take a deep and full breath in, let go with an exhalation. Breathe in your intention, perhaps joining me for an Om Chan if you like. Inhale. Om. Breathe in the vibrations of this collective and bow your head to your hands, it is a joy. It's an absolute honor and it is a complete privilege to share this space and practice with you. I hope you enjoyed this and we hope to see you very soon at the Farm Club. Thank you. Jai.